Welcome back. Cell phone companies racing to bring us 5G services that promise super fast data speeds. But as they spread out the service, thousands of people will be headed up to install new gear atop cell phone towers. The coming conversion, if conversion is creating a big demand for climbers with technical skills and some pretty strong stomachs. Kenneth Craig got a firsthand look at what it takes to train with them here in North Texas. Is gearing up for another day on the job. Far from the confines of an office, his work requires a daunting climb up the side of a cell phone tower that rises more than 17 stories above North Texas. It's exhilarating. It's why I joined this industry. I want to do, do something that most people just really can't do. It's a thrill, and thrill seeking is what I'm here for. He's at this outdoor training camp with the newest team of tower hands. Brought on board by telecom giant Ericsson, hired for the rollout of fifth generation wireless, better known as 5G. They really are, it seems, the backbone of all of this. They're absolutely critical to our business, and it's why we're making this investment here. We can't do 5G in North America without our people who climb, without our teams that work out in the field. But Matt Jones, who oversees regional operations for Ericsson in the central U.S., says there is a major shortage. We need to double in size. We need to take our, our climbing community and we need to grow it coast to coast in every state that we work in. Why is it so difficult to find these kind of workers? The work's not easy. Physically, it's demanding. It's outside. More than anything, it's at height. We have a lot of our people that work at heights of between 100 feet and up to 350, 400 feet on a daily basis. So you've got to be willing to climb. You've got to be comfortable once you're up there. And you've got to be physically able to do it. And this is where they take their first steps. At a 13,000 square foot training camp. You might have to pull the rope out of the way. In Louisville, Texas. We met Brody Lewis during his first week of climbing school. I'm an active person and I love to be outside. I want to put a suit on every day and go do a desk job and do the same thing over and over. He's a former Marine who made the move during his transition out of the military. And he's not alone. Started climbing 100 foot towers in Afghanistan. After time in a classroom, students strap in for hands on training where climbers learn how to install maintain and repair the equipment that can deliver a 5G signal. Everybody turn to your right, check the person that's in front of you. Then it's time for the real deal. So when you got the ropes up here, you want to make sure that they're not tangling. Timothy Armstrong is a senior trainer. This is what's keeping you This is what's going to protect you and save your life. Yeah, this, at the end of the day, you have to trust your gear, and this is what's going to save your life when you're up there on the tower. Wearing at least 50 pounds of gear, it's a stomach-dropping journey to the top. Matt Jones, who's a former climber himself, says it's not only a job with a view. You can see for miles, and if the weather's good, yeah, it's awesome being up there. But also one with a future. It's not going to be the end. There are more G's to follow, and that's why this is a long-term investment for us. This isn't something that we're turning around just for the couple of years of, of 5G deployment. This is the way our industry is going, and it's a commitment we've made to, to be successful in that space. And Kenneth says, says he met students in Texas who had no climbing experience, and Erickson said you really don't need it. You just have to be willing to give it a go. Aaron, 